you know, liquidity conditions last quarter, mm. they uh, were not able to borrow. So I think these are all reflection of that. Obviously, it underscores that some borrowers <coughs> are stretched, they are heavily le leveraged. But that will happen in any market anywhere in the world <laughs> that a few people will be overextended. Rasir, my and question was out, not no, my question was yeah. not about the causes that we know. What I'm asking is, are these one or two isolated <laughs> instances or should we prepare for a mini wave? I would think uh, these are isolated uh, incidents because we have seen a large NPA correction over the last five years. So generally, I don't think uh, you know, the animal spirits or the adventurism in corporates have gone up in the last two, three years. I think, uh, of course, pre-13-14, mm -hmm. there was a lot of optimism and infrastructure has been one sector where adventurism has really cost a lot of people, uh, you know, a fair amount of money. But in the last four, five years, we have not seen large projects being undertaken, large acquisitions, uh, acquisitions being made. So I don't think that um, this is start of another wave. I think this is more, as I said, the reflection of the tight liquidity conditions that are there. The NPA or the asset quality issue, I think we had over the last five years, but we are fortunately getting towards the end of that cycle. Okay, okay the pre-opening well, yeah. rates are ticking in. Vedanta will really be your stock of the morning to watch, 6% lower on that. And that's been a concern uh, with the Vedanta group uh, about corporate governance or perceived corporate governance. So 6.5% down straight away on Vedanta. UPL had good numbers, so that's up 1.7%. I think an obvious budget trade that plays out in the morning is uh, Mahindra and Mahindra and Escort. So uh, both these stocks are looking up. And SBI ahead of numbers is up about 1%. Also, yeah, you know, escorts escorts also escorts. because of the numbers. Yes, the uh, numbers Sonia? were actually pretty good for escorts. I mean, not only the overall sales went up about 13% year on year, exports were also pretty good, up almost about 47 odd percent. So, MM along with escorts. A couple of more stocks, you know, SBI and Titan come out with numbers today. So, ahead of that, those stocks have been in the green. And the two um, pillars of this market, Reliance Industries and Infosys, these are two other stocks. Reliance, in fact, is now up almost about one odd percent or so. So, do keep an eye out on that. The uh, rupee opening, by the way, is absolutely flat. So, um, there's no move on the rupee. I think 71 is where it's open. It should come up for you. Uh, was, uh, quiet. There was one trade below 71, 70.99. Okay, but yeah, <laughs> largely flat, I agree with you. Okay. Uh, so, Rasesh, just uh, coming back to some of the numbers, I mean, you spoke about what your estimate is as far as the fiscal deficit number is concerned. What about the total market borrowing number? If it does come at around 6.5 lakh crores, which the street is expecting, um, how do you think the market would respond? And also, you know, there's another element of borrowing that a lot of economists are now talking about, the amount that public sector enterprises are borrowing from the government. And the view is that the government is taking a lot of its, uh, a lot of its capex that it should be doing in the budget and putting it into uh, some of the public sector enterprises. How much of a concern do you think that would be? Uh, not much. Actually, last three, four years, that was the case. Uh, if you see the last three, four years, the government